No doubt experienced it during your travels around Atlanta. You're caught in really heavy traffic when it's not the rush hour and there are no wrecks and not even construction. There seems to be no reason for it. Why does this happen? Well, 11 Alive's Why Guy has some answers. Traffic jams are a way of life in Atlanta. There are those times in the mornings and afternoons that you know you're going to face brake lights. It's called the rush hour. And then there's the random Saturday afternoons when interstate traffic comes to a dead stop. It's not because of an accident. There's no construction. It has you baffled. Why are there traffic jams for no apparent reason? Traffic engineers call it a phantom traffic jam and a single driver can make it happen. Traffic is flowing along just fine when a single car slows just a bit. It can happen because of something as simple as the sun hitting the driver in the eyes. The next car in line taps the brakes. Another driver isn't paying attention and has to hit the brakes a little harder. It starts a wave of brake lights that can travel backward for miles. 20 minutes later, you could have someone in the back of that pack still experiencing the ripple effect. Typically, the drivers at the front of the jam recover faster than those in the back, so the wave keeps moving. Now you're thinking, I know a place where this happens all the time. This could be the reason. Engineers tell me when drivers hit an incline that can be as slight as a 3% grade, it can cause them to slow enough to start that ripple of brake lights. While it's called a phantom traffic jam, when you're stuck in it, it's very real. That's why for so long us traffic guys preach when you're in traffic, of course we all tailgate mm -hmm. anyway, that you just let off the gas. You don't hit that brake because then all of a sudden that starts that chain reaction that Jerry was just talking yeah, about with we that phantom. About that yesterday. Try Try, I know when you say I give myself space behind the next car, then someone sneaks in. That's unfortunate. But if you just try to ease off the, the gas yeah. a little, then you don't become the first brake light that eventually becomes thousands of brake lights. Okay. And then other people are looking at, uh, at, at what's going on the other side of the highway, mm -hmm. too, I find that. Curiosity. Oh, yeah. right? Rubbernecking. That's oh, what I yeah. thought was going to be the answer there. We, yeah. We are curious creatures. No, here in Atlanta, I mean, you know, it's like they never saw a cop car before in their lives. Look at that, Martha. A cop car. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, thank goodness you slowed down, Martha. <laughs>